Greetings, Waynesburg faculty, staff, administration guests, and graduate class of 2022. My name is Dennis Winkler, Jr. I was asked to say a few words today because I am a student, I'm a graduate, I guess I would say, of the PhD in Counselor Education and Supervision Program. I honorably accepted it with butterflies in my stomach, but I accepted it nonetheless. There's an African proverb that says, smooth seas don't make skillful sailors. I would imagine when we contemplated graduate school, we considered the intensity and the rigor involved in accomplishing these educational goals. Nevertheless, schooling at, at some level, after doing it for 16 years, has some level of predictability. However, how things have unfolded over the last few years with COVID and all the injustices that made it in the media, there was a lot added to the work that we've been used to. In a similar vein, my start here at Waynesburg was not typical. Before Waynesburg, I was in another doctoral program for two years, and it closed without notice. As a clinician and a more prepared one, after my educational experience here at Waynesburg, I've questioned whether I fully process that stressful experience. I felt lost. I didn't know what to do, but I didn't give up. When many closed their eyes on the students in the school that in the program that I was in, Waynesburg accepted us with their arms open, consistent with their values and principles. They named us the A-Team of the CES cohort, which was a wonderful experience. I didn't know what to expect, but it was beautiful. They welcomed us, they cared for us. I believe I can speak for all of us when I say we received the care that we needed during such a traumatic period in our lives. I'm sure that many of you have stories about how Waynesburg has touched you and how they have lived up to their mission and values by creating an atmosphere to help you thrive. Yes, I had to write an entry essay again. I had to send in a resume again, complete another application. And yes, I had to prove that I was PhD material after already being in a PhD program. Nonetheless, the staff and the faculty helped me, and I'm sure you every step of the way. My entry interview with the faculty gave me hope. They were excited about my research, especially Dr. Bowser, who said, you can do so much with this, even break it down into smaller studies. I said, boy, I was excited after hearing those words. I said to myself, I want her to be the chair of my dissertation committee. And I was successfully blessed to have her walk with me every step of the way. During my interview as well, in his calming voice, the department chair, Dr. Hepburn, said, I'm fairly impressed with your writing. So again, I was excited, but I said, fairly? I had to look it up, <laughs> fairly, but I was excited nonetheless. Thank God, I was 
emits it. The gentle care persisted and was matched by the high level of education that I received. I trust graduates that you will join me by saying that they cared for us, stretched us, prepared us, and worked with us every step of the way. Earlier I mentioned, maybe I haven't fully processed the traumatic experience of my former program closing. However, I'll be okay. As a trauma-informed psychotherapist, and I'm going to say again, at the Waynesburg, a more prepared one, I realized that growth is possible after a traumatic experience when one can find positive meaning in that experience. I have done that. I believe that God set forth the path and knew that I and we would get exactly what we, what we needed for our journeys forward. No, it wasn't easy. But as I, but as I said earlier, smooth seas don't make skillful sailors. Nelson Mandela is noted for saying, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. So let's follow suit and pay it forward by being agents of change. Thank you, Waynesburg, to everyone, and I mean everyone from the enrollment process, to the fact that you provided a world-class education, to all who helped us across the finish line as graduates. Thank you all for the memories, the lessons, and the care. I am forever grateful. And congratulations again to my fellow graduates. <laughs>